Hi, welcome back to Chasing Tone. I'm Max. I'm Brian. This week we talk about the differences between there's an overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. We do a very special uh, gear vault with a DIY guy that's part lagger. <laughs> um, and uh, Brian actually goes through the fundamentals of the differences between overdrive, soft clipping, hard clipping, and square clipping. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I won't be here for that, but enjoy. <laughs> No foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. <laughs> oh, so we got, uh, I had an idea today. Oh, no. Um, yeah, because I'm thinking what we haven't really done in one of these, and what we've talked about it with Travis, but we never, I don't think we ever actually got to demonstrating the difference between overdrive, distortion, and fuzz in a general sense. Okay. And like, I can even draw like little block diagrams and... Yeah, Ex- explain it without. Do I have to be there for moving my fingers? Should be here for that? No, you can go home. I'll, I'll okay, do it. let's get do it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually like I mean I guess verbally that's really hard to uh, if somebody doesn't know what to listen for I guess it's it's hard sometimes to distinguish. Mm-hmm. This is a drive. This is a distortion. This is a fuzz. I get that question actually quite a bit. Right. I do my best in my. Uh, broken hillbilly accent to, <laughs> to, to explain that properly and what's hard like I've, I've picked one of ours and a couple uh of other people's pedals sure because like all of our stuff is kind of it's not like all one thing well i mean the euphoria is the closest to just being an overdrive sure or the clarksdale you know just an overdrive um but even the euphoria you can kind of fuzz up yeah, you know what I mean? so there's some crossover. So, yeah, and then, then like Plexi Drive, I mean, it's kind of, you can get light, lighter gain, you can get heavier gain and slow distortion the same way. I mean, so, yeah. like, there's a lot of crossover with our stuff where it's not just an overdrive, just a distortion. Yeah. Or just, like in electronics terms, just soft clipping, just hard clipping, yeah. or just square clipping, you know what I mean? Which is like super, super hard clipping, um, which would be like your typical fuzz. So, with that said... Um, I actually am playing on the clean channel, the ADA. Awesome. <laughs> what does one say? And sure. The reason why is because the mic was there, and I didn't feel like screwing around with mics today. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Shaw, Blackstar, Orange, Fender, Marshall, uh, Port City, more Shaw's, your own amp, and you pick... <laughs> A three hundred dollar and two two a twin and a deluxe. Yeah, and that's that's just the amps in this room. <laughs> but you you pick a three hundred dollar ADA to play with. But it is it is going through the port city for the power amp though. Okay. So it's kind well, it's kind of well, it's only half. I'm wrong. kind of cool. <laughs> it's only half wrong. So, <laughs> but I mean, <clears throat> oh, my voice squeaked there. Did you hear yeah, that? What, whenever I, I do that, I think I'm having puberty. Whenever my voice squeaks, I'm like, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, what I really meant to cracks my wife up every time. Like, let's go to, <clears throat> let's go to the bank. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. I just, this is. Try it. I don't have a low voice. You can have a low voice if you want to. You <laughs> no, I don't. Fixate your head, drop your jaw. I don't, don't have enough poop in my pants to do it. <laughs> See, you almost had it there. <laughs> you almost had it there. All right, anyways. Okay, so, anyway, so into the, uh, the a clean channel. I got it set up on the ADA. <laughs> Playing through uh, the 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 Marshall cabinet with the uh, what was it Green Brace WTS? Oh, yeah. So it's like Greenback. Yeah. So it's it's a little darker than normal. So I have to compensate with the pedals. And and it's almost in tune. Almost. You had a better tuner on that board. It had probably same tune. I have an awesome tuner because it moves like a strobe. See that? Look at that. See? And plus, when it's in tune, it makes me happy. See, TC Electronics, we're listening. Oh, I love TC stuff. For, for our NAM board, I have your tuner. Since Brian won't even really be playing all that much, I was like, I'm going to pick the tuner that I want to I want to use. So that, that tuner's on the board. Yeah, I, I like that, the TC tuner. You I just, like I, I mean, I do. It's just, <laughs> you know what? I, I like the bigger LEDs. You like their other products. You still have their tuners. Mm. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're accurate and they're good, but like they're so, the, the LEDs are so small in it. Just it doesn't give me the warm fuzzy feeling of seeing the strobe. I, mean, I need to see something spin. I, uh, keep my attention. You keep know? Me a fortune. <laughs> <God>. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, okay. So I got the Euphoria. Pretty clean. A little bit of breakout. A little bit. I 
mess that lick up. Mess it up again. Hey, they're done strong. Yeah, that's what they say. So, I mean, so this actually is soft clipping. Okay. Just soft clipping. Soft. But the difference is uh, we can add some hard clipping and soft clipping as well. Turn up the bass, and now you it gets a little fuzzier. I mean, yeah. still overdriving, but just a, a different type of sort of fuzz out. Yeah, you know what I mean, so that's a soft clipping type of pedal, and um, I'll explain that in just a second on a whiteboard, so we can really break that down a little bit. Sweet. And uh, we'll go on to a hard clipping distortion pedal. Hard clipping. <laughs> And we're back. And we're back. So this is the Boss DS1 Distortion. Y'all probably never heard of this pedal before. No, it's brand new. Just came out. Uh, brand new pedal from Boss. So this. so there's a, a couple different stages in this type of pedal, but okay. it's still it's still hard clipping. Okay? okay. So I'll explain that more in just a minute. But uh, let's just say for all the uh, uh, you know DIY guys. You have a transistor that's boosting signal into an op amp that's then clipping to ground. Okay? Cool. And then it borrows the famous Big Muff Pi type of tone control. Mm, pie. So which is why, like, kind of like on a Big Muff, as you turn it down, you get like into the meaty territory. Yeah. A lot of guys, their amp's a little dark, so it's a little brighter right now. A lot of guys usually run like a stock one, like 10 o'clock or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anything above that, it kind of gets a little bit shrill. But anyways, so less talking, more playing. <laughs> Good. It's not bad, yeah. yeah it's just yeah. not my favorite pedal, but it, it but sounds a lot better than some others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, actually, there's a cool. we've done some cool mods on these before. Yeah. It really turns into, like, um, amazing pedals. Do you, I any, think. do you have any here? I don't. I mean, I have a modded pedal here, but it's not an amazing mod. I'm not really sure who did it. I don't know why I have it. <laughs> it was just on the shelf, and I'm like, I don't sure. remember doing this. We should mod one. <laughs> we should do that for a gear, a gear vault at some point. That would be fun. Would be that fun. would take a while. Yeah. But we'll just could, show the finished result. We could do that. Sweet. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right, so what I have is the Tweak Fuzz from Seymour Duncan. Came out a few years ago. Yeah. It's basically a fuzz face. You can change the input cap selection, which basically means less bass, more bass. So that's what the Tweak Switch is doing right there. Um, gain all the way up. Volume fairly high. It's just not a very loud pedal. No? No. Mm -hmm. It's silicon. Silicon. Uh, yeah. So it's just a, it's basically just kind of a cool fuzz face. So, with the bass all the way up. So you'll notice it doesn't have a whole lot of treble to it. Yeah. So there's another pedal that I like that has more treble to it that's kind of similar along the same thing, but more tweakable. And uh, if you're lucky, I'll show it to you later. So, so that's the Tweak Fuzz, uh, a hard clipping device, a, a more of a square clipping device. And um, all right, so I'll explain that more here in just a second. And um, yeah, that's the fuzz. Have you have you uh, have you played a Tweak Fuzz before? I I have just heard you. When we first came, well, actually when we first came in before we even shot. They were playing for like good 15, 20 minutes. Right. Well, we did a video a while back with uh, the uh, 
fuzz face. Yeah. yeah fuzz face. But um, Travis actually did it, and I didn't tell him that the controls were backwards on it. <laughs> and so he had, he had a, ooh, that makes a lot of noise. It's pretty noisy. That's a noise in that ADA. It's true. Yeah, I don't think it's the ADA. <laughs> yeah, the volume. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you know, one thing I do want to show you with the tweak fuzz. Let me show you this. So, so check this out. All I did is engage the buffer. Okay. Start getting sputtery when you mm -hmm. engage that buffer. Sure does. And also, Which some guys like. I'm not a big fan of it myself. Also, it's disengaged now. Cleans up way better without a buffer. So it just it kind of gets uh, a buffer is kind of like change like well, they buffer things. <laughs> so so it stops any interaction between your guitar and the pedal that's after the buffer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or any capacitance, cable capacitance, or anything like that. Um, on this particular tweak fuzz, you can get more of a distortion by simply taking the bass out before it's clipping. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's cool. So, and that's really, I'll show you more in a minute, but that's really the key to the fuzz is increasing bass before the clipping. Hmm. Weirdness, huh? That's pretty cool. It's trippy. Yep. Very, very tweakle. <laughs> It's talking about an overdrive. So with an overdrive, what you basically have is a EQ, and then you have gain, and then more EQ, which then goes out. Okay, and here's the thing, with a overdrive, um, you're going to decrease bass from the start on the gain, um, you're going to soft clip. So if here's your wave, your sine wave, it's going to just square, instead of this being real round, it's just going to make that a little more square. So it's going to look more like, rather than, so, uh, and then after you clip it in a softer way, you're clipping the waves in a softer way, then you can increase your bass again. Now if I wanted to be a fuzz, I would actually, like on, for example, on the Euphoria, I'm actually, uh, my bass control is before the game. So, I can actually make it f a little bit fuzzier by increasing that bass. It's still soft clipping, and then uh, the tone control, the tone control, treble control is on the uh, back side of that gain, so it's after that gain. So that is uh, the overdrive aspect of what is going on uh, inside of that circuit. Distortion is kind of it's still going to be the same way. So you're still going to have EQ coming in. You're going to have gain section, possibly another gain section, and tone control, or EQ, however you want to call it. So in the case of the uh, DS1, the tone control is right here. So we have EQ stage, and then it goes into a transistor. That's a transistor that then goes to an op amp stage and then it clips to ground. So an overdrive, if this is your op amp, an overdrive 
is usually going to have diodes right here off the plus and minus pins of the op amp. On a distortion, what you generally find, and on the DS1, is they put the diodes here, and if you just imagine the signal just going this way, and uh, it, what it does is it actually clear it um, makes the wave where if an overdrive is more like that, then a distortion is even more. So it's less rounded still yet. Um, and comparatively, a fuzz, a nasty fuzz, can literally be like that. By comparison. All right, so here is the, and so this is the basics of what is going on inside a distortion pedal for the most part, uh, the DS1 specifically. A fuzz circuit, there's all different kind of types of fuzz circuits. Um, something like a Big Muff is actually going to use diodes in it. Um, it's still using transistors, but it's still using diodes as well. Something like the Fuzz Face is uh, using a special type of transistor stage. There's actually two transistors, but they kind of form one stage. And um, the, it's, it's arranged in such a way to get more gain out of a transistor. So, um, so what, what you basically have is, you know, like one transistor and then another transistor. And those two paired together, that's, that's kind of hard to see. But th those two paired together is going to uh, create a, a more gain. It's going to create a kind of a different kind of feel, a different kind of texture, and that's the fuzz face circuit. Then you can get like a tone. I think it's like the tone bender has another uh, transistor stage that's boosting into that. So and that gives you even more gain. So with the fuzz, we still have our block diagram here. So you're still going to have the same. EQ, some sort of gain, some sort of EQ stage. So even if we make a simple fuzz, I'll draw a simple one here real quick. Okay, so this is just a real quick drawing of uh, a couple of different fuzz stages, or a couple of different transistor stages, rather. And it's, uh, you know, a little bit of chicken scribbling here. But basically what you have is one gain circuit into another gain circuit into another gain circuit. And then from here, we have a resistor, a capacitor, and a volume control. And we'd go out to the out of the pedal. So, but this circuit here is the transistor. This little, this little sign that looks like this. That's a, a transistor on a schematic. That's a capacitor. That's a resistor. So when you see those double lines, that's a ca capacitor. When you see the squares like that, that's a resistor. So those capacitors, those resistors, form EQ before and after. So you have EQ here, you have EQ here, you have EQ here, you have EQ here even. Just by those different values and how they interact with the, each transistor and each transistor is different. So that's why there's a, you see all these different fuzzes that have different types of transistors. It's because they all react differently. They all have different gains. They all have different EQs. They all feel differently. So... All that to say, your pretty sine wave is now going to be square whenever you uh, hard clip something like this a bunch. You're always going to increase, on a fuzz circuit, you're going to increase the base here and probably here, and then you're going to start taking it out um, after you get most of your clipping done. So it's not overwhelming. So hope that helps you kind of understand what's going on inside most fuzz circuits and how that 
changes from overdrive to distortion to fuzz. Okay, so we have the Scarab from Basic Audio. John Lyons makes these. Do you know who John Lyons is? I don't. If you're in the DIY community, you'd know John Lyons. Because he's Lyons? been a gigantic part of the DIY community for years. Since I've, geez, I think since I've even been around it, he, I've, I've known John Lyons. Is he part lion? He's actually better than lion. He's more like a liger. That's awesome. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's lion and tiger. I forgot about ligers altogether. <laughs> you got their liger on the screen here. <laughs> liger. So, but this, this, this pedal is really cool. This is actually another one that Brad Paisley let me borrow. Hold on, I picked that name. <laughs> yeah, let me pick that, uh, name, pick that name up. <laughs> so, so yeah, he's a huge fan of it, and he's just like, "You got to check out this fuzz." And you never so, gave it back. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to here within the next month or so, but I'm, and I'm going to hate life, <laughs> so I'll probably have to buy one off John. Um, so, anyways, it's really cool. It's got a bias control, fat control, which makes it fatter. It's got to be fatter. <laughs> it eats too much. Yeah, it has a tone control, of course, a fuzz control. I have no idea what that does, and then a, le <laughs> a level control. So, um, let me try to play the bias so I can get it right. That fat control is adding some bass. Yeah. I even makes it bigger. <laughs> makes it fatter, huh? Bigger. We like the term bigger. Sorry. <laughs> you can get, you can get Horizontally it. Horizontally challenged. Right. You can you still get it darker though. Way too dark. Too super bright. Then the bias control is something funky. So listen how the note decays. <laughs> there. It's very sputtery. It reminds me of like a like old like eight bit like Super Mario Brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ding, yeah. Ding, ding. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, and that actually is controlling the bias. So, and you can hear it, like just in the noise. Here, oh, cut wow. off. Here, yeah. cut off. So, as it like when you're breadboarding yeah. transistor type circuits, I do a lot of it by ear first, and then I measure the voltage rather than like, oh, it's supposed to be at five volts, so let's put it at five volts. Feels good to so right. yeah, so I'll put, I'll actually put it on a pot, and I'll just listen to where the cutoff is. So, I could, so I'm like, okay, so that's the range, and then I know what to, what like what range to play with when when dialing it in. You know what I mean? So, cool. Little, little tidbit of DIY information for you. Tidbit. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning me all kinds of DIY stuff. So, all right. So that's the Scarab from Basic Audio, one of my very favorite fuzz pedals. And I, that's all I got for today. You got anything else? That's it, man. I'm I'm pumped for now. I just finished everything. For now, before we yeah, start shooting this episode, so yep, and you finally got the pedal board fixed. Yeah, fi finished from last weekend. Finished from last weekend. <laughs> or last week, rather. Or last night, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't film two of these in a row. Yeah, definitely not. No, we <laughs> will never do such a thing, especially when we're gone for a week. <laughs> exactly. So, so yeah, so you get the pedal board finished. Um, you fixed one of your screw ups with your cables. I did. Yeah, oh, a, a company that will not be named uh, had some bad plugins. Yeah. <laughs> So I cut, I basically, seriously, I didn't even do solder. I just cut them off. I'm like, we'll just throw yeah. them in the trash. Unfortunately, from a named company, I've thrown away a lot of cables from them. Yes. Because I have lots of problems. Well, with a no-name company, everything, fixed, everything worked. Mm-hmm. So. The best $5 cable you ever used. <laughs> it really is. But it shows off our buffer really well. It's like, let me check out this buffer, how good it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool, man. 
All right, so that's it for this week. Uh, next week will be our, I'm going to say it, final and 100th episode of The Chasing Toe. So make sure you check that out. It'll probably be Tuesday or so, Monday or Tuesday of uh, rather than the Friday. So check it out and make sure you comment below. Make sure you share this to your friends because they'll want to see the last episode for sure. The last yeah. one. When just that's, disappeared. that's the one where we go to Nam and we all like there's beer everywhere. Yeah. And you know, like just tons of hot chicks. No, that's no, actually not. Just lots of the beer though. Life. There's lots of beer there. So and we'll probably have to end the episode for good after that because <laughs> I'll probably do something and stupid. So probably legally gonna have to after that. <laughs> yeah. Like you need a uh, season to say. <laughs> All right. Doing from prison. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing tone, prison episode. One on one. Then the clinker. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.